Glorious Model O- versus the Cooler Master MM710. The two mice I've used daily for the past two weeks, and I want to break down everything you need to know about these two models and which small and light mouse might suit you best. Good people. The GamerStorm Castle 240EX gives you a peace of mind with anti-leak tech inside by reducing pressure buildup as temperatures fluctuate, plus this is one of the best looking pump designs with a removable mirror cover and swappable logo pieces with full addressable RGB support for that extra bling. Check it out below. Alright, so let's begin with the price. Both mice start at $49 with a $10 premium for the Glossy O- with a 2 years warranty for each. Now I love the dual color and surface options for the Glorious, my favorite being the matte white, as I don't really like how the glossy surface feels to the touch. While the MM710 is supposed to come in all the same colors and surface options, but they're not yet available outside of the matte black. A quick mention on the design, the Model O- is a beautiful mouse with awesome RGB elements on the side and a scroll wheel with a honeycomb pattern while the 710 is basically bare bones. No illumination and a Cooler Master logo for the perforations. The packaging with Glorious is also incredible, impressive what they can do for the price point to really stand out, while Cooler Master's presentation doesn't even deserve a mention. The MM710 is available on Amazon with cheap shipping, while the O- goes directly through Glorious and I'll leave links below. I will say the Glorious mouse probably has better resale value because the original Model O right now on Amazon is about $30 over the original retail price and you'll never see that with Cooler Master. The build quality of the Glorious also feels better with smaller spaces on the frame, no rattling on the internals, however the internal components on the 710 are coated to protect against dust and moisture. As I mentioned in my original review of the MM710, they have strengthened the body, like the sides don't flex as much as the original, the buttons don't have too much sway left and right, uh, but the rattle is still present. Yeah. Now weight and size are probably why these two mice are getting so much attention. The MM710 on my scale is just under 55 grams, while the O- is 2 grams heavier. And honestly, in real world use, this 2 gram difference is indistinguishable, but when I put in my Model O on the scale, that thing feels like an elephant now. Quite heavy, quite bulky, still awesome in my hand, but in comparison to both the M710 and the O-, uh, yeah, the 15 gram difference is pretty noticeable. But it will definitely be the shape that will nudge you towards one or the other. So the O- is skinnier, it's longer and it's shorter. So it's truly for small hands, while the 710 is wider and taller that for my hand size and hybrid grip is actually very comfortable because the back curve is not so smooth as on the O-. So with the Glorious Mouse, I lose that bit of palm support at the back while the Cooler Master accommodates me well. They are both ambidextrous shapes with thumb buttons only on the left side, and even though the O- did not immediately feel as comfortable as the 710, after two days of just using the O- I was pretty comfortable with the mouse. I did have to readjust my grip uh, as my pinky would fall off the right side and I was dragging it on the mouse mat, whereas the taller body on the 710 was enough to support my ring and pinky fingers. This of course will not be an issue for people with smaller hands, which is why the O- exists, but it's just interesting how the 710 is slightly uh, shorter in length, but it, uh, because of the back curve, it accommodates my larger hand very well, whereas the O- not so much. I also would like to give an honorable mention to the Extrify M4 RGB. So these just got in, they're brand new mice, and size-wise, they are pretty small. They're slightly bigger than the M710, but they're also heavier at 70 grams. So if you don't like a super lightweight mouse, this is a really good option, and I'll have a review on that soon, so stay tuned. The cord on both is very good shoelace-type paracord on the Model O- with a more condensed ultra weave on the 710 that is slightly shorter with a purple USB Port, and I do prefer the cord on the 710 as it doesn't kink as easily as the O-, plus it's less bulky. The feet on both are white PTFE, better quality and glide on the Model O-, it just feels smoother compared to the 710 that, by the way, comes with an additional replacement set of feet 
which is nice. All right, so let's talk buttons and both have basically identical layout. I do love the DPI color indicator at the bottom of the O minus. So you know which DPI you're using. You can even customize that in the software with up to six DPI levels. While the lack of any lighting on the 710 means you just gotta feel what DPI you're using on the screen. And what makes things worse is that we have seven DPI levels in the software that you cannot turn off. So if you like me and only use two settings, you can go one by one until you set the seventh DPI setting. And then I set that to like 16,000 DPI, which is the maximum. And that lets me know that I'm resetting the cycle, but it'll just be nice to turn off the rest of the DPI levels and just keep two. I do prefer the scroll wheel on the 710 with much better control as the O- feels mushy, while primary clicks on the Glorious are super crispy and have shorter travel. They both have arm run switches rated at 20 million clicks. Now, performance-wise, the 710 has a higher-end sensor, the Pixar 3389, with 16,000 DPI, while the O- is rocking the 3360 with 12,000 DPI. It is really hard to distinguish between either, as they're both fantastic and a great extension of your hand for accurate aim. Lift-off distance for both is very low, around one millimeter, and both are incredibly fun to use if the body shape fits your hand size and grip style. Fingertip for the O- and hybrid palm for the 710. And the last few interesting bits is both have internal memory built in. So once you configure them in the software, you move the mouse to another computer, you don't need the software, which by the way, functionally is basically identical, like remapping your buttons or recording macros. We have debounce time adjustment on both mice. That's awesome with two lift off distance settings. And you can further add surface tuning with the 710 that might optimize the lift off distance for that particular mouse mat but that's about it. So I want to conclude by saying that at $50, both mice are fantastic and kind of catered to a different hand size and grip style. So the MM710 for me personally is better. And at $50, it's all about performance without bling. While the O- is an awesome release to accommodate smaller hands with finger grip uh, without compromising on quality or the visual side of things. I'm really happy that we have such fresh competition in the mice segment. And I was not expecting Cooler Master to deliver on their promises with the MM710 but the scroll wheel is better and the cord I also like on the Cooler Master mouse while the Glorious is all about RGB, small size and really just awesome quality. The new Hydro X series from Corsair is a full water cooling ecosystem with transparent blocks for RGB goodness and built-in flow indicators with soft and hard tubing available and the full array of fittings so you can design the perfect loop for you. Hydro X by Corsair, everything's linked below. I'll make sure to link everything in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out this other relevant content. Subscribe for more. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.